Let's hop in a time machine, Dorian. Let's go back to 2018. Lamar Jackson gets drafted at the end of the first round by the Baltimore Ravens. Do you happen to know the next quarterback drafted in that draft? Say that again. Lamar Jackson drafted in 2018. No quarterbacks were drafted after him for a good long while. Do you know who the next one was? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 2018. <sighs> Would you like Dak to... Prescott? No. I'm going to tell you. Okay. Mason Rudolph. I think I knew that. Dang it's, it. And so here's the question. Because the Steelers, obviously, as Mike Tomlin talked about yesterday, they... They showed interest in Jackson, and Tomlin went out to eat with him and all that fun jazz. They were in the market for a quarterback. Of course they were. They drafted one. If Lamar had been drafted by the Steelers and everything else played out the way that it's played out, so Ben's elbow falls off in 2019, the backup quarterback wouldn't have been Duck. It wouldn't have been Rudolph. It would have been Lamar Jackson. Would he be having the same career if he started his career here? No. I don't think he'd have been as good either. Because Randy Feekner was the offensive coordinator, right? And I don't think he would have known what to do or just push all the chips into running a Lamar Jackson surrounded offense. Totally with you. I think Lamar would still be an elite player. I don't know that he would be what he is. And this is a guy who I've just spent the last half hour complimenting Lamar Jackson, as have you. We both understand how good he is. He would have been great. He would have been great. He'd have won a lot of games that year. He'd have won a lot of games as a Pittsburgh Steeler. They would not have used him the way that Baltimore did. But I have so much faith in his ability that I think he'd have been great regardless. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if he'd be going on three MVPs. No. Also, Ben was ticked that they took Rudolph. Can you imagine how he would have dealt with, oh. with a guy that would have been the most talented guy at the time on the roster? Well, was Flacco was still there, right? Yeah. And I, was he upset? I feel like I, I don't rem remember how that went apart from I was in Baltimore for a Steelers game. Steelers beat the Ravens, got to seven, two and one. The Ravens dropped to four and five. Division seemed all but locked up. Steelers went two and four the rest of the way. The Ravens didn't lose. That was the final game of the Flacco era. Mm -hmm. They actually threw a pass to Lamar Jackson in the end zone in that game. And then it all changed. Mm -hmm. And then they changed their entire offense. Yep which I don't think that would have happened here. That would not have happened. If Arthur Smith had been the offensive coordinator, I think they would have come a lot closer to it. But it was Randy Feekner. Yeah, no way. Wouldn't have happened that way. Yeah, I heard Starkey bring up that draft because Tomlin had talked about it, and it just got me to thinking how different history would have been. They, they had a chance to take him in the first round, too. I mean, they weren't going to do that because they still had Ben, and Ben was still playing well, but they had their eyes on quarterback – Regardless, they took Terrell Edmonds before, <laughs> before him. Mm -hmm. The Ravens passed up on him once, too. They took Hayden Hurst 25th overall. So, hey, they kind of screwed up a little bit. Knowing what you know now, he should have been the number one player taken in the draft. But that was Baker. And then Sam Darnold went third. And then Josh Rosen went 10th. Josh Allen, seventh. Then Josh Allen. Josh Allen was seventh. Just but just before. <laughs> Seventeenth? Seventh? Seventh, yeah. yeah. Josh Allen was seventh. Josh Rosen, tenth. Nobody knows what the hell they're doing. You're guessing. Educated, but you're guessing.